Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the Bass Wood Carving live stream. So this is my first attempt, so bear with me and hopefully we'll get through this thing. Um, we'll give it a few minutes, let some people come in, see if, see if, uh, see how many people's going to show up. So, um, i got to monitor a few things just to make sure. Just, uh, if you're here, check in. How you doing, Wood Burning Warrior? Howdy, howdy. This is this is going to be cool. I think uh, it's going to give me a chance to interact with you guys and uh, and enjoy having a carving community. Um, it's been it's been tough right now lately. You know, I'm a part of two carving clubs. One of them we're not even meeting yet, and the other one, you know, we have to meet with uh, a bunch of guidelines. And uh, you know, we have a pretty good sized group. Timothy Ward, hey, how you doing from Virginia? You're close. You're a close neighbor. I'm in Ohio, so. Uh, oh, two Virginia guys. That's sweet. That's sweet. Uh, how's everything looking? Is the video coming through and the audio sounding okay? Um, I don't know if it's uh, if I can go a little, a little better or not. Um, getting a couple warnings here popping up so like I said this is I'm new to this so get bear with me um, I actually do a lot of video work for customers and uh, but I'm never usually on the recording in the live end so you know hopefully hopefully things that are coming through and uh, we'll be able to work work the bugs out of it but yeah I'm looking forward to starting a little a little carving community and it's already I'm almost up to a thousand subscribers so you know I think that's cool thanks Tim looks good and sounds good from your end awesome awesome I actually have some pretty good fast equipment um, and I finally got some decent internet I've always wanted to do some videos um, you know even when I got started carving really more or less just to uh, just to have something to record my progress thanks wood burning warrior um, you know, just pretty much to document kind of my experience with carving and everything. I never really set out to be a teacher. I don't think, I don't think any of us can be, uh, you know, called a master carver, at least not for me anyway. And, and, uh, I know I got some really great carvers around me, but, you know, um, it's, it's good. I like to have a good community and people are chatting, uh, um, you know through comments and sending me good emails and stuff and you know that's it's really cool really cool i had one email that said you know do you consider yourself to be a teacher and actually i don't i've only been carving for a couple of years this is going on my third year and i have learned so much you know about carving that, that it's just amazing and i learn something all the time um so i like watching the the YouTube carvers, man, that's that's my favorite. I mean, I like to watch guys of all skill levels, and uh, you know, it just uh, gives me inspiration. And really, that's all my channel wanted. If you know, if I can just inspire somebody new that's never carved before to pick it up, get involved, and that's really cool. You know, I'm in Cincinnati. I'm outside of Cincinnati. Um, Wood burning warrior. Where are you at? Yorktown. Okay. Okay. So you guys are, you guys are looking, looking like you're close. Um, but yeah, so I'm part of two carving communities, two wood carving clubs. And one of them we can meet with a lot, with a bunch of guidelines and stuff. But, uh, you know, my, my mother-in-law has been diagnosed with cancer. Um, so, you know, we've been careful. We've been careful. She's done her, uh, chemotherapy and everything and she's cool everything's looking great so i just don't want to uh take any chances right now and i give it time give give some time and see if this stuff goes away but um but anyway i just love the carving community and i miss being around all my carvers buddies you know sitting there watching them carve and and picking up tips and tricks because if you're a part of a carving community you know there's all different levels of carvers and and really the good carvers they they're 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 right there to help you so you know um thanks tim thanks i appreciate it you have leukemia yeah hey that's a that's a good nickname 
yeah I, I i get it now that's cool that's cool um but yeah i mean she's strong she's she's 83 and she's tough as nails you know she gets out there in the garden with me and picks beans and does all that kinds of stuff so you know she's she's she ain't going nowhere she's tough um but, you know, so many people in the uh, carving communities just either don't have a carving club to go to that's close to them. You know, I mean, one I drive is about 50 minutes away and the other one's about 35 minutes away. So I'm I'm really lucky. And I actually found my carving teacher was right in my hometown and I didn't even know it. So, um, yeah, prayers for you too, Wood Burning Warrior. So anyway, I'm, I'm hoping to get this thing kicked up and, you know, you guys can ask questions and we can carve together. I'm thinking I'm actually going to put up another camera. I'm working on getting another camera set up so I can do a, a different angle and carve, you know, online live. I think it'd be cool for you guys and maybe we can carve a project together. That'd be really cool, I think. We'll see how this live goes. I'd like to do one, you know, fairly often, at least maybe once a week, maybe a on a Monday or whatever, we'll see what times works good. So put it in the comments if this time worked good for you. You know, I know people might not might be a bunch of people in here right now, but um, I think after the after we get something going, you know, then uh, you know people people will jump in, you know. Um, but so I just thought I'd come on and you know see what everybody's thinking about uh, the carving. I know a couple of people said they've been new to carving, and um, I mean, yes, I consider um, nothing close to you. I, you know, I was actually thinking about doing a video on helping people learn how to start their own club if there wasn't one near you, because I really, I mean, you know, you, you like we we um, use a community center. One of our buildings is a community center. I don't know what they pay for rent or anything um you know I, I mean most community centers if it's a senior program you know they'll they, they probably don't charge too much anyway you know and um to, to join a carving club is really cheap i mean both of my clubs are like 12 dollars for a whole year so um you know if if uh if you uh start a club you know maybe you know start out it's just like starting having a youtube channel you start out with a few viewers or you start out with a few members and they tell people and then before you know it i think i think our one club has over 50 members in it um and then the other club is kind of a, um, a little smaller but um some of the same people go back and forth to both clubs so you know and it's once a month usually once or twice a month that that we meet so it doesn't really take up a lot of time, but I think it's just the camaraderie you get from the from sitting and carving with people and just shooting the bull and and uh, seeing what everybody else is working on. You know, that's one thing I kind of miss is not being able to see what everybody else is carving. Usually, I could walk in and uh, you know see what everybody's see what everybody's doing. You know. Um. But yeah, if we can get a community going online, and uh, you know, we'll help help each other's channels out. You know, if you if you have a, a a carving channel, you know, definitely put your channel in the comments. If nobody knows what it is, they're not going to find it. So, you know, I'm I'm all about promoting the whole carving community. Yeah, that's why I did the top ten because I thought there was ten of those guys that I watch on a regular basis and always look forward to seeing a new video come up is is in that list you know and i know i get emails and comments from people like what about this person or what about that person and i basically did the top 10 because that was the 10 people that i i watch on a regular basis i watch a lot of other carvers too thanks jeffro um but you know i think we uh we all just try to help each other out and promote each other's channels and we just build our channels up and uh do things together and who knows once all this craziness stops maybe we can set up some kind of meetings place that we can do a once a year thing or something you know i think that would be cool i'm a seminar guy i like going to seminars um i was in the martial arts for 35 years and uh ran my own schools and 
I loved learning new things from all different types of different instructors and stuff. So, um, you know, you can't stop learning. I don't care if you're, you know, 12 years old learning to carve or if you're 68, 70 learning to carve, you know, it's all, it's all fun. And, um, you really get into it. You really get into it. It's just so addicting. I, first time I started carving, I was like, man, I went home and carved. And um, after I took my first lesson, but, you know, hey, I mean, wood burning's cool, too. I got a nice wood burning set, and I dabbled in it a little bit. But, uh, you know, hey, I might be learning to, willing to learn some some wood burning techniques um some of my carvings i'll i'll do a little wood burning on and put like the highlights burn the highlights in just a little bit to kind of make them make them stand out and stuff so you know there's even a place up for wood burning and carving and um you know it's just a whole fun i like the whole woodcraft business really just of everything wood you know we needed a chicken pen for our chickens i took a bunch of scrap wood and built a kind of nice chicken run and chicken house and uh my dad's always had a big woodworking shop and uh he's always had woodworking tools and built cabinets and built he pretty much built all kinds of things sorry i got a little fly flying around here today um but you know i've always been interested in in wood and then when i got started carving it was just like man i'm i'm addicted to this stuff i gotta I got to be carving something all the time, you know. Yeah, Tim, I wish I would have started earlier, too. I actually uh, told a story on one of my videos that um, that was kind of how I learned about whittling and carving. Actually, was uh, we lived on this road, and um, all the kids played on the road and ran up and down. We played wiffle ball out the street and all that. And there was a man on the road that lived in a house. And he would always be out on his front porch in a lawn chair whittling. And um, the crazy thing about it was this man was blind since birth. He had never been able to see in his whole life nothing. But this man could carve the crazy. I mean, he could carve anything. He could carve anything. And uh, we would go down there when we were kids and sit on his sit on his porch and out on his yard and watch him carve. And he would always carve something every day. And he would hand the carving to one of the kids in the neighborhood. And it was just crazy. He would carve sheeps and cups and spoons. And he gave me a ball and chain. It was a old old ball and chain. Um, had a ball on it and like four or five links chain and a little ring on the end. And me, like a, like a dummy... I didn't keep that. I don't even know what happened to it to this day, but I would I would just love to have something like that. I just think it would be really, really cool to, to have kept that in all this time period, and now I'm doing whittling. And then my grandpa, too, he was a whittler. We would always fish. We do a lot of fishing. Our families do a lot of fishing, so grandpa would always be sitting on the bank just whittling something, and he would make them little whirly gigs, um, and he would uh, sit there and carve stuff and pick up a stick and make a walking stick out of it. And he just, he didn't really do like a lot of caricature carving. He just whittled. He just whittled away to kind of pass the time and, and everything. So, you know. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. You got started wood carving. Because you was wood burning already and wanted to incorporate them both. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Texas veteran, welcome. Welcome. Thanks for all the free tips and knowledge. Hey, I appreciate it, man. I mean, it's, it's like I said, it's I don't consider myself a, um, you know, a teacher of uh, carving. You know, I was, I've been a teacher for 35 years, so I do know how to teach, but um, I'm, basically just like to pass on things that i learned and that's the same way i was as a martial arts instructor i just go out and learn stuff just for my students so you know that's what that's all i'm doing is just passing on things you know just like they've been passed on to me along the road um 
you sit down next to the carver and and you watch them do something and then you ask a question and they're like yeah let me show you how to do that and next thing you know you got it locked in um and that's why kind of i like gene a lot gene's kind of the 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 godfather of uh youtube carving videos i started watching him and the first thing i carved he did a little tiki thing and i did a little tiki and i was like man this is cool out of an old piece of pine with my grandpa's pocket knife and um i like the flat plane carving style and i like i really like the car caricature type carvings and stuff so you know for the videos, I like to do the little quick carves that somebody can carve in an hour, hour and a half, two hours, you know. Some of these things, like these cowboys, they they take quite a while for me anyway to do do on a, on a video. Because I, I like to just sit around and just pick away at them and set them down for a while and pick them back up and carve around on them a little bit and put them back down and work on something else, so. So this is currently the cowboy I'm working on right now. I don't know if you can see him. He's a rough out from the rough outs video that I did on the company's GMB Sears. I the, all the rough outs I have are their their rough outs. So um, all the all the carvings that I do as caricatures right now are all from rough outs. Um, so I really. I really like to get into the details and just start creating my own little details on it. I think I'm going to make a, a sheriff out of him and put a little star on his chest. Um, and then, let me just scooch over here. And then Lynn Dowdy has a video. Um, if you don't know who Lynn Dowdy is, he was one of the ones in my top ten videos. Um, he does a lot of Wild West caricature style carving stuff. So, um, so with my cowboy, I'm going to do this horse. So he does a video on this horse. It's actually like, I think it's like a eight to 10, might be about 10 or 12 parts, but it was really, it, it's, it's really cool. Um, to watch him and try to create the same but yet mine's going to be different i'm going to do a different saddle i'll do different colors i'll probably do a little different reins and and stuff like that but what was cool was he teaches you how to take this thing in two parts put little pins in it glue it back together or well you don't glue it yet the reason i have it in two pieces is because in order to carve the legs I guess see if I can get her back together. In order to carve the legs, it's easier if you have it in two parts. And then I can carve the legs all to the right shapes and everything. And then, um, then once you got the legs up to kind of the bottom of the of the thighs, then you glue it back together and you glue it solid. And uh, and then you finish the rest of the horse. So he's got a good set of video on there. And I thought, man, that would look cool. Because I always like to put my carvings with something. So I thought, well, I, here I got my cowboy. I got my sheriff. And then we'll make this his horse. And we might even put a badge on the horse or something too. So And he'll have a saddle bag. There's a few other parts that are not on here that go with that. But, um, yeah, so that's one of the little projects I'm working on. And I figure if I do live videos, once I get my other camera set up, you know, we can, you, I'll sit on here and carve for a little bit for everybody. and Or you can get your project and, and carve along and we just chat wood carving. So, um... Let's see, how long has everybody in the chat been carving again? I might have missed it. I know a couple of you put that. Um, how long we've been carving. I'm not seeing it. Um, but it's cool if, uh, you know, like I said, we'll hopefully build this up and, and we'll get... Uh, 
get this kind of a regular thing and and everybody can uh join in and everything i didn't really expect to have i was thought i'd be lucky if i had one person show up so i was going to do this and just kind of save this video out and that way people will know when we might do another another uh live stream so so let me know in the chat in the comments you know whatever um tim said he's been carving since october cool cool the other thing is since june of 20 awesome jeff jeff's almost got a year in there getting there it goes fast i mean i couldn't even i couldn't even i'm actually making cookies right now <laughs> that's cool what kind of cookies chocolate chip around two years jan said around two years i only started since march of last year that's cool i mean time goes fast once you start carving i really november 2020 cool i've been carving off and on for two years got a lot to learn been carving ladybugs this week <laughs> that's cool that's cool yeah if you guys don't mind you know send me some pictures i won't you know i won't blast them out on social media and stuff if if you don't want to but it'd be cool if you watched any of my videos and carved anything um that you could send me a picture of how yours turned out because you know i think that would be really cool to see you know um see people that have carved stuff even if it's you know if it's different you know that's cool um somebody brought it to my attention on my on my barbecue pig that i did that i forgot the tail and i said yeah and i forgot the ears too because he's supposed to have little ears on there and i was going to give him a tail but i was so thinking about the spatula and everything that uh i ended up ended up leaving off the tail and the ears and uh the video was kind of long anyway i was I was coming back from a from a little time off because um, my business has been really, really busy and it's been really hard to get a video out. But um, Reese's peanut butter chocolate chip cookies sounds awesome. Sounds awesome. I'm a cookie guy, as you can tell. I like cookies. I like cookies and coffee. <laughs> but uh, so I took some time off to get caught up with work because that's what you have to do and um i actually was to be honest with you i was a little rusty coming back on that last video i was like man i'm feeling rusty and slow here so um it turned out to be a little longer and i ended up messing it up kind of leaving off things but uh you know maybe we'll revisit the barbecue pig some other time but I started a couple other things, and I'm actually going to do one on the channel and then just kind of to see what kind of reaction that everybody gets from it. Um, awesome. Well, thanks for your service, sir. Appreciate everything you guys do. Yeah, me too. I'm grateful for all the content on YouTube. I just, you know, it's cool even just to see a see a new person pop up, you know. Um, actually, like I seen Jeff Jeff Row Carves pop up, and we start communicating back and forth and in the chat, and we found out that uh, we know we we both know the areas that we're from, and uh, and it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. So. Um, Maybe me and Jeff Rowe can get together and do a do an outdoor carve somewhere this summer or something. But uh, yeah, so there's just so much good content out there and um, so much to learn from. So many people to learn from. Like I said, I'm still learning. I'll I'll probably be learning as long as I ever carve, you know. And uh, I think for everybody that's learning to carve too, you need to have a little confidence in the carving. Yeah, it is a small world. You need to have a little confidence in your carving when you're doing, you know, your carvings. Um, I know that was a big thing for me. A lot of times I, I was comp trying to compare my carvings to guys that had been in carving for 40 years or 
one old guy in our carving club, I think he said he'd been carving for like 45 years or something like that. And I'm just like, I got to stop. I got to stop thinking. I got to stop thinking that my carvings are going to look as good as these guys and stop putting so much pressure on myself, you know. Um, and just from watching myself grow from the past, you know, of course you show your family and everything and they're, they're the first ones to say, oh, that looks great. I want one of those, you know, and, but inside your mind, you know, just like when I did the video, you know, I, I realized afterwards that I left off two important elements of the pig and, and I was discouraged and kind of disappointed in myself. And then I was like, oh, that's just too much pressure. You know, I'm just doing these for fun and, and, uh, to have a community of good people around me. And, uh, I kind of let myself go a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know, so have confidence in your carving and, and your improvement and don't be afraid to send me a picture, you know, or even if it's something cool you created, you know, that you carved and you want send me a picture, you know, you can send it to me at it's Carver guy. All one word, Carver Guy at basswoodcarving.com. Carver Guy at basswoodcarving.com. It's usually in the description of my um, YouTube videos, too. So send me a picture. That'd be cool. I'd like to see your work, you know. And just, especially if it's something that I did. Um, I did have somebody send me a bunch of pictures of the candy corns that they did, which I thought was cool. And what they really did was they took and made a couple of the bigger ones and then they sized them all down they sized them all down and they made smaller candy corns so it's almost like like a family of candy corns and i thought well that was cool they took kind of my idea and uh and carved little baby candy corns that was cool so you know yeah there's great support from the family when it comes to carving they they really enjoy your carvings and you know hey my little niece um thinks she's going on six she comes down here and wants to take all my carvings home she wants to take all my carvings home and so i carved her a tweety and i was going to do a video on the tweety and she ended up taking my tweety so i ended up had to give it give it to her and I thought well I'm gonna have to carve Tweety again yeah it is once you when you got a knife and a block of wood and good conversation I like good conversation I think that's why I like watching uh you know YouTube videos of carvers that actually talk you know like Gene you know he talks about different things and you know you can throw in your uh you know, hey, I'm making a V cut here and a V cut there, but you know, I think when I know when I'm sitting at the carving club chatting with the guys, we're talking about other things, you know, boats or fishing or garden or something like that. And I mean, with all this crazy stuff that's been going on, it's it's you don't realize you don't realize how <laughs> your grandsons take probably your forty percent. <laughs> yeah. That's cool, but, you know, and it feels good to give it to him, too. Just carved a Yoda for my son from Gene's video. Awesome, awesome. Um, but, yeah, you know, you, you you really, you carve them for them anyway, usually. Most of the time, you know they're going to they're gonna talk you out of it if they come around and want, see something they want. And she's put me to the challenge. She was like, I want a, um, a cowgirl. She wants a cowgirl in a dress, in a red dress. She told me everything. She wants the red dress. She wants She wants a, a pink hat and pink boots. And she's giving me the whole rundown. So now every time I talk, and I told her, I said, you got to give me till Christmas. I'll carve, it to, I'll carve it for you by Christmas. And you'll get it as a Christmas present. And now every time that uh, I talk to her, she's like, do you have my carving done yet? Do you have my princess cowgirl done yet? The princess cowgirl is what she wants. So 
So I, I got a little time yet, I think. I'll probably jam on it. Um, but it's nice to give your carvings away. I mean, I've given so many different things away. And um, it's, I mean, what are they going to do? They're going to sit on your shelf and collect dust anyway. So if you can give them to somebody that enjoys them, you know, it was well worth it to, to carve it for them pretty much, you know. <laughs> he said lost track started November 2019 lost a year somewhere spoons are on my bucket list carvings yeah I, I've been wanting to do a spoon too I mean it's one of those things where you know you're like I gotta carve a couple of spoons I gotta carve a couple of spoons and I might even carve a salad thing you know with the tongs with the salad fork and the, and the spoon or you know, I got a, a big old apple tree I got down in the yard that I cut up, and I got some apple wood. I got it out there, kind of, I guess you'd call seasoning. But I was thinking about carving a spoon out of some of that, doing some spoons out of apple wood, because it's got a really beautiful grain on it. I done a lot of Santas for Christmas and gave them all the way. Yeah, you know what they say about the Santas is, they say you can start doing Santas in January <laughs> because you you always have so many Santas that, that people want or that you want to give away and so many different versions of Santas out there too. So Santas are a popular thing. Warrior says he actually likes carving spoons. I cannot carve characters. I didn't think I could carve a character either, you know. I've been, I mean, when I started doing some classes with Bob, my instructor, he um, f hands me one of those carving rough outs and said, here's your project. And this was after I just did a practice stick is all he showed me. And then I did a, a double ball in, in a um, ball in a cage, except he gave it to me. It was, wasn't one ball. It was two balls in a cage. And that was kind of one of my learning projects, too. That's where I learned to get cut because I was jabbing that thing through there and and cut myself a couple times on that project. But um, you can carve the cowboys. Once you once you start it, that's why it's good to start out with the rough outs, if, if, you know, because you can add things to them. You don't have to do them. I mean, they send you a picture with them, but you don't have to... Uh, you don't have to car carve it like that. In fact, you don't want to. You want to make it your own. So, you know. And here's one thing I always had having trouble, and I still do, is with the faces on the cowboys. Um, you know, is that too much of a wrinkle? Is, am I got the eyes crooked or whatever? But really, when you think about it, when you think about it, um, you can always make it your piece. So, you know, if the eye's crooked, hey, it's a cowboy. Maybe he's got a crooked eye. Maybe you meant it that way. You know, you just tell everybody that's how you meant to do it. And then it's then it's part of the character, you know. And then I always have trouble with the faces. And the one guy in my carving t class, he's a really good carver for faces and stuff. And I says, he says, what part of carving do you have? And, uh... Okay, Tim, thanks for coming on and stopping by, and uh, hopefully we'll see you again on another one. Um, but one thing he told me about carving faces was always remember there's a face underneath of a face. So if you mess the face up, you just carve it out, carve it all off, and start over again. You know, good night, Tim. Thanks for coming by. So, you know, there's always a face under a face. And I thought that was pretty cool. Because, you know, even with characters, you know, they have a big head. They can have a big head or they can have a, a, a little head and big feet or a big body and a little head. So that's kind of the unique thing and the fun thing about the characters, especially the cowboys is, you know, you can make them. You can make them your own. So if you mess up, you just say. That, yep, I meant to do it that way. Um, so, 
But anyway, guys, I appreciate everybody stopping by. And um, I was only going to keep this first one at about 30 minutes because I um, didn't really have anything ready to carve or anything. But uh, I promise you that uh, I'm going to keep the videos coming. I'm going to keep jamming out ideas and uh, playing with different things. And, um, you know, some of it might not be your thing. Some of it, you know, you'll jump right in and learn. So, um, you know, I appreciate appreciate everybody that stopped by and subscribed to the channel and joined us. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to build this community. I've, like I said, I've only got to <laughs> eat a cookie in my honor. For Tim's honor, both of ours, eat two cookies. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate it, man. I really appreciate it. It's good to know. And, uh, um, you know, I think it's something I'd like to continue. And uh, I know people will jump in more more and more as we get it going and find out the right time. I was like, 8 o'clock should be good. But then it's like 4 o'clock on the West Coast. So it's going to be kind of a balance to find that right time. Um, and weekends, if it's a nice weekend, you can bet I'm probably going to be out on my boat fishing. <laughs> and um, it's going to be hard to do, do them on the weekends because that's, that's what we do a lot is fish. So, um, But, hey, I appreciate everybody that's supporting the channel. And like I said, I got almost to 1,000 subscribers. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get that here in the next week. And... Um, and we'll just keep setting our goals to build this community bigger and bigger. And like I said, if you got a channel out there, you're a wood carving channel, hey, post post your link in my comments. I'm good with that. You know, on the videos that that um, you know I'm doing for for the community, um, I'm all cool about everybody putting their links to their videos on there. You know, if, if you subscribe to my channel, though. You can't come in here and get subscribers and not subscribe to my channel. So, you know, post your link and let's spread the community. Let's get more wood carving channels out there. You know, let's get more views for everybody. Let's let's build up our communities together, um, just like we did our clubs. And um, I'll look about doing maybe a, a talk to some people in our clubs, get some ideas of the problems and stuff like that that you might have trying to set up your club. And hey, if you don't have a club in your area, you know, maybe you can maybe you can figure something out and maybe if you know we can talk back and forth or whatever and figure out what you what we can help you do to get a club going, you know. Um it's kind of crazy right now for clubs to meet and everything, but I think I'm thinking positive that all this is going to go away at some point here and we'll all be able to get back to a normal life, get back together with our friends in the carbon community and uh, chuck off a bunch of wood so all right fellas and ladies i appreciate you stopping by um i hope we can do more of these live streams in the future um like i said i'm working on a camera uh, a couple camera things that i can do a couple different angles and still chat with you and um carve some projects um and uh, I got one coming up that I think uh, everybody will, will enjoy. It's something quick and easy that we can do. And, um, you know, hopefully uh, we'll get to see some pictures of your work too. So don't forget to send me a picture. All right. And, um, you know, if you uh, don't mind, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell at the same time so you get notified. And leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing. I say us because this is my family. And you guys are my family. And um, I enjoyed being with you for this time. So thank you and have a good night. And we'll see you on the next carving.